Route 10 is a dangerous and controversial section of the Egyptian-Israeli border. It's rarely been seen on television. But for hundreds of Sudanese refugees crossing it, this fence holds the promise of a free life in Israel. Akun is one of them. He left Sudan after his mother and sister were raped and murdered in front of him. The difficult night, I crossed the border because it's all the mountains and and between the Israel army and Egyptian army. It took uh, about three hours. I'm walking with my legs. I'm really tired that time, but uh, I don't have shoes. I was supposed to do it because this is, I want to save my life. There are currently around a thousand Sudanese refugees like Hakun in Israel. 500 of them made the journey in the last two months alone. This is one of the points where the Sudanese refugees cross over the border. They sometimes have to wait for hours or even days on the Egyptian side of the fence until they feel secure enough the border police won't shoot at them. And then they make their dangerous journey underneath the fence and to this side of the road where they wait for the Israeli army to pick them up. With little alternative, aid workers then bring them here to a Jewish communal farm or kibbutz but many were imprisoned by the authorities before getting here. For Israel, Sudan is an enemy state, so these refugees are enemy nationals. Those incarcerated have no right to appeal against their detention. Really, the situation uh, in the prison, it was uh, very hard. The government said the law here for people who come from enemy nation, they must stay behind bars maybe forever. There are over 100 Sudanese refugees in Israeli prisons. It's a situation that's causing a social as well as a moral dilemma within Israel. Israel has an identity challenge. We are a Jewish democracy. And this is an example, a perfect example, of the negotiation of these two identities. How can you be a democracy with human rights, with values of accepting people from all nations, but you still want to maintain your Jewish identity, and that means always maintaining a Jewish majority. For the Israeli government, the situation has reached crisis point, and closing the border, they say, may be their only option. You can do certain things, but it's not in our capacity to solve all the problems of Sudanese. To say that we can observe 100,000 when we cannot even take care of our own, that's a nice word, but it's unrealistic and unfair. And with every new arrival, Israel's dilemma deepens. Those who make the journey with so much hope now face an uncertain future. Shireen Tadros, Al Jazeera, on the Egyptian-Israeli border.